Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another next gen build video. Today we are making Carmelo Anthony, you already know. So, let's get this thing started up. Obviously, Melo is a small forward. I put him at right-handed and we put on that number 7 Knicks jersey. You already know what I'm saying, man. So, this build will primarily be for park players um, only because the free throw. I wanted to add stuff elsewhere. So, if you want to really bring this build into the fives, like rec center, you really can't run Pro-Am with this build. This is more of a park build because it's not going to have a free throw. So, I just want to put that out there. Height, six foot seven, weight, 215 pounds, wingspan. I put it all the way to the shortest at 6'7", so we can get the extra, like, six or seven to three-point shot. So, as you see here, for the attributes, it's very solid. 26 finishing badge points, 33 shooting badge, 16 playmaking, and 11 defensive rebounding. Obviously, Melo is a pretty solid rebounder, but with this build, you're most likely going to be like the two on the, the squad because you could play some perimeter defense. You got a 78 steal, not bad. You could dribble, 86 ball handle. I like that. So you can ISO with this mellow build. You can post up with this mellow build. So we'll just take a look at the attributes real quick. 65 shot close. 98 driving layup. 92 driving dunk. We didn't touch standing dunk. We're not going to be dunking like Shaq out here. Uh, post control 93. That is a very solid post control right there if I do say so myself. 95 mid range. So my man is going to be post fading like crazy. 89 three-pointer, so good. Ball handle, 86. 74 speed with ball. Uh, no interior defense. We're going to be playing on top. We're going to be playing against like the two and the three, you know what I'm saying? So we got an 88 perimeter defense, which is actually pretty good. 78 steel, not too bad. And then for the, the attributes, we have 65 speed, 76 excel. 65 strength, 75 vertical, and 99 stamina. So, obviously, this is the Knicks Mellow. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's Mellow later on in his career. If it was Mellow early on in his career, I would put the speed, I would put the vertical up, I would put all that up. But he is faster with the ball, so do keep that in mind. So, for the takeover, I would personally, like, if you're going to be, like, mainly posting up with this build then obviously choose a post score but i'm going with like shot creating and sharp i'm definitely going with spot of precision and then low key if i'm feeling it like you could do finishing moves which is pretty solid if i do say so myself so we're gonna go ahead and complete this build two-way scoring machine similar to those guys on the left hand side of your screen we're gonna go ahead Test out some badges real quick. You already know. Throw that build up to a 99 overall. I don't know if I did, but we will. We'll just we'll just work with the badges right now. So, drop stepper. We don't really need that. Mouse in the house. I've never personally used this badge. It's when attacking a smaller defender, there will be a higher chance of successfully finishing. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Uh, postman technician. You don't really need that. Posterizer, Slithery Finisher, I'm putting that on. Lob City, I'm only going to put that on Bronze, really. Uh, that's really, I feel, all you need. Uh, Dream Shake, you can put that on. Limitless Takeoff, I'm throwing that on 100%. You already know. Fast Twitch is a very good badge. I have that on my center, very good. Um, I'm going to put Unstrippable on Bronze. And then, like, Pro Touch on that. So that I could put Acrobat up to at least gold if you don't want to put pro touch on that you could downgrade it and then put acrobat on hall of fame as well and then boom three bronze one silver one gold three hall of fame now for shooting first badge i'm putting on is sniper hall of fame how can you not you know that is just such a good like it's the badge is insane i love that badge I'm putting catch and shoot on silver because only two for the gold. Like, two extra badge points just to put it on gold. I'm keeping that thing on silver. Personally, blinders is a very good 
very good badge, especially if you're isoing. You got the dude on the side, so it won't be that much of a contest. You know what I'm saying? Difficult shots. You already know that thing going on Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter, I'm putting that on silver. And then Fade Ace, if you really are going to be doing post fades with this build, which you really can very successfully, I'm putting that thing on Hall of Fame. Fade Ace on Hall of Fame, 100%. Dead Eye, I'm putting that on gold. And then Green Machine, I'm putting that there. And then you got one extra badge point where you can put anything you want. I'm just going to throw that on Volume, volume Shooter because that's what I always do. So, for the dribbling, Downhill, I love this badge, not going to lie. Glue Hands, I've never used this yet, but it reduces the chance of an errant pass. But, my passing accuracy is dog on this. So, we put in Quick First Step. Then, we put in Tight Handles. Put in Stop and Go on Silver. Unpluckable on Bronze. Space Creator, obviously, the last one. Boom. Badges, baby. You already know. So, for the defense... Menace, I haven't used this badge personally. It does look, it looks pretty solid. Um, because it does drop the attributes of the defender you're, or offensive player you're guarding if you stay in front of them. Like, that's, if you're good on defense, this badge is an absolute glitch. But we put it on pickpocket, we put it on clamps. You already know. And then we got four more badges. So, ball stripper's not bad. Tyler's defender's not bad. But then you know what's also not bad? Menace. Menace isn't bad at all. That's such a good badge. So we're going to go ahead and complete this right here. I accidentally hit circle. I didn't mean to. But if you guys did enjoy this build, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you got any like ways to make this build better, let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.